as you go to sleep. Hey, I'm a little tired. one. I don't really want to hold a real one this big. Spiders can be everywhere. In the trees, in the grass, and sometimes in your bed. Just kidding. If you don't bother a spider, the spider doesn't bother you. Today we're going to be talking about da -da -dum -dum -dum. spiders. Spiders are amazing creatures. So I am going to share with you some things I know about spiders. Make sure you watch till the end so we can meet our special guest. He's really cute. So spiders. Are you afraid of spiders? My mom's terrified of spiders. That's her number one phobia. Spiders come in many sizes. Some are no bigger than a little tiny speck of dust, like the confident spider. Some are as big as a person's hand, or sometimes face, like the Goliath tarantula. It's huge. You might think a spider is an insect, like an ant or bumblebee, but a spider is not an insect. The thing that a spider is, is a group of animals called an arachnid. Other arachnids are scorpions, ticks, and mites. The difference between a spider and an insect is that a spider has eight legs, an insect has six. Scientists divided spiders into two groups the ones that hatch them in webs, and the ambush hunters. The ambush hunters are the ones that catch them in their self. They don't make webs, they just make a little tunnel inside filled with silk. They make a little tiny pebble for a trap door, and then they just open it a teensy bit. And when an insect gets by, the spider jumps out to catch it. The ones that spin webs, they spin a web by regular thread. And then they put the sticky thread. The spider waits. It hides somewhere. You might not see it. And the insect passes by. The web is invisible to it. When the insect comes by, it just doesn't see the web and then bloop. It gets stuck in the web. And then the spider comes out where it's hiding. The spider has eight eyes, but it doesn't see that good. But it can still feel the, the insect trying to struggle out of the web. So then the spider follows where the web starts to wiggle the most. And then it goes and it wraps the insect with its big feet. Something amazing happened. A huge, huge orb weaver spider came and made a web right in front of my kitchen window. It was huge. So here it is. Hey guys, look at this cool spider. It's so huge. I wonder why they don't get stuck in their own webs. Well, that's because they have some kind of special oil on their body that makes them not stick to their web. The other bugs that, that get stuck in the web, it's just they get stuck in the web because it's invisible to them. So, so I'm thinking that this might be an orb weaver spider. Whoa! A spider like that? Eating a tiny bug? Oh, you could eat bigger bugs, but that's still pretty cool watching a spider eat. 
I didn't know it could carry its food like that. That's cool. I wonder why um the, the bugs can't even see the spider web. Probably because they could only see darker things. They can't see color. Well, maybe bugs can see color, but I'm not really sure. Whoa, this is a little better than Animal Planet. Well, not, well, not really, but it's better than a show called Pitbulls and Parolees. It's a lot more interesting. This is a lot more interesting to me. I made it right in front of our kitchen window. You could closely see the the spider web coming out of the spider's spinnerets. It's just really cool. If we keep this light on, the spider might be getting luck because the bugs come toward the light and he might, he might catch a lot of bugs because that light is so... The bugs just love it. The bugs are just forced into a trance to go follow the light. Oh, but, ooh, there's another spider too. I'm sure that spider may be able to get stuck in it. Actually, probably not because that, because all kinds of spiders have oil on their body because they can't get stuck to their own web. So, maybe if it gets in that web, it won't get stuck. But I'm sure a big spider like that could just kill a spider that small. Well, my captain changes me meowing. The one in the first video. Did you know that after a mother spider lays her eggs, she dies? I found an egg sack right here in my garden. Here it is. Here's the egg sack. It's really cool. You could, you could see egg sacks almost everywhere. And this is a spider egg sack. When a spider lays its eggs, it lays its eggs, and then it dies. But little cute baby spiders start to hatch. They fly and fly as balloonists. They, the wind carries them far, far away. Spiders are very important for the environment. They get many harmful bugs, like mosquitoes. So when you find one in your house, try not to squish it. Try to just release it outside, just like I did. See, spiders can be everywhere. There's one on my wall right now. It's a daddy long legs. When you touch it, it, it starts to smack you, it's funny. <laughs> If you see a daddy long leg spider this big, you might think it looks dangerous, but daddy long legs aren't really dangerous. Maybe we can think of a name? I'm gonna name you Longfoot. So we're gonna release this big guy now. It really looks like he's trying to get out. Here. Here you go. I guess I'll just go back to eating my dinner. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Ready to meet our special guest? This is our special guest today. It's a frog. I, I have to think of a name. How about I name her Kroka? Shh. One thing I know about frogs is that they have really long legs and shorter legs in the front. You might think frogs croak just because, just for, um, just for looks, but 
but they really, really, their croaks are really important because they communicate with others and sometimes when they're stressed or scared, they croak. I think what is happening now. And, um, and also to c attract a female. I think we should release her soon because she looks stressed. Let's go find a good place for you. I'm gonna release her here in my backyard. Bye, Croca. Here you go.